Hey guys, Fred and Stag here, and welcome to an installation guide for the For King or Country, the English Civil War mod for Medieval 2 Total War. Then this mod was released in 2008, so it's a very old mod. So 2008 is two years after the release of Medieval 2 Total War. Now this mod is, I'm not, I'm not showing you the 2008 version of this mod, I'm showing the, the 2.0 version. However, I will go and give you a slight bit of backstory. So this mod came out in 2008, as I mentioned a second ago, and it's sort of on the 1.15 patch, I think, was it 1. Yeah, 1. 1.5 patch on November 19th of 2008. So yeah, not compatible with Steam, and not compatible with the Kingdoms DLC for Medieval 2 Total War, which is what you need, to, which is what which is required to play most mods. However, hope has it, uh, our Lord and Savior Gigantus, uh, about what two years ago now. Uh, turned up, uh, nearly two years ago, turned up and found this mod and decided to port it to the Kingdoms and made sure it was compatible with Steam. So this is now the 2.0 version of this the wonderful mod. So to install it, now you, obviously I will leave a link to these two pages here. You can look at this one for the nostalgia, I suppose, or just for some more information. Or you can look at this one, it's up to you. There's a whole, fight, there's a whole thread in it on Turtle Center if you want to have a quick look at it and all that. Now to install this mod... Uh, you go all the way down here to download here. You click on this, and it will load up a, another page, which displays the download thing for Turbo Center. And there's some details from Gigantus there as well. So click download, and uh, once it's done, that will make a little uh, pop up down here. Or no, no, it won't. Sorry, you have to click download on here as well. And then it comes off an ad, so make sure to close that down. And then, as you can see, it's popped up down here. Now I've already gone ahead and installed the mod. So as you can see the For King or Country 2.0 application will turn up in your downloads folder. To get your downloads folder you to go is just use this PC. And you got downloads there. Now another thing you want to go to is to load up your Medieval 2 mods folder. You go to uh, PC, data or whatever your drive is. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Medieval 2, Total War and mods. So click on this. And then we'll come up with, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Click yes. And then we'll come up with this program, which is made by Gigantus as well. Now click next. Uh, make sure to read carefully through this. Uh, click agree here. And you want to make sure it's at your correct directory. You have to make sure it's at your main directory of Medieval 2 Total War. So that's here. If you are using the Sega version then it will be different. Uh, let me uh, locate that for you now. So to find your Sega version, I'm sure a lot of people will likely know by now. So, but the Sega is simply just for if you have the disc version of Medieval 2 Total War. So click OK and it will locate your Sega. Then just click Next and then it will start wearing away and it will eventually be installed to you. Now, once you've done installing the mod, click Exit and Exit again. And once it's done, it will appear in your Medieval 2 Mods folder under F FKOC. So open that up. Uh, it will also put a shortcut, which is this one here, on your desktop. You can either use that shortcut if you like, but I don't really use the shortcut, so you, I just access have a um, shortcut, as you can see, that takes you to the mods folder for many of the Total War, where I can load up all my mods. But that's up to you what to do with that. Um, you can use the shortcut, or you don't. It doesn't really affect it any much than if you do or do not. Now, you want to go ahead and click start and once that's done the mod will be up and running and uh, we load up now and uh, if you have any issues with the mod itself and if it's not working or just general problems then feel free to contact me in the comment section below or speak to me further or if you want more of a in-depth instructions of how to do the mod then contact me on discord and I can give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it properly so once it's done, you can see the for King or Country here, a portrait of Charles I, and uh, there you are. That's it. So that is how you install the for King or Country mod for Medieval 2: Total War. So I thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell.